Hi, this is Milan with Desi Plaza TV in association with VDesiRadio.net. We are here at the Immigrant uh, Journey Award Ceremony today. And uh, this gala basically is to recognize the achievements of immigrants and what they have done for the betterment of the immigrants and for the society and as a whole for the country and the world. So we will go in and see what people, what immense amount of achievements these people have done and what they have done for the society. Plaza TV and V Desi Radio and I'm here at the Immigrants Journey Gala and I have with me Mr. Mani Manika Vela. How are you doing sir this evening? How are you? I'm do good doing, doing good. Well your story is inspiring as inspiring as uh, everyone else's story so we would like our viewers to hear a little bit about your story and how you have inspired and done good things as immigrants. Sure. Um I was like anyone else, came here uh, 20, 25 years back on uh, IT background, you know, was doing IT work in a large corporate. And uh, I started my own uh, very small business, educational business. Over the time, I, I, I learned to start franchising it and it grew um, and in a good size. And then uh, in that process, I learned the whole franchising and I wanted to pick a, a right business which has a potential to grow and support them to grow and today uh, I've got uh, my tax filer uh, one of the great I have with me Miss Go or Gautami Vamula and uh, I'm very inspired to call you Go uh, after everything that I heard about you, you Go girl. <laughs> well, I, I use that term because she is also a co-founder of something called You Go Girl. Yes, I am. Along with that, she is a philanthropist, she is a social activist, she plays piano, teaches piano, she has been a CPS investigator for like 10 years and the list just goes on. So let's just go ahead and talk to her. Hi, Gautami. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I am good and I was just wowed by your story, Gautami. And you have such great skills and have utilized them to the most. So what, what would you like to say to our viewers who are listening to you right now? I just want to encourage everyone, you know, with the environment that we are in right now, just the political atmosphere, you know, I encourage everyone not to give up hope. So we have with us here Mr. Mani Ravindran, a very relevant name in the Dallas real estate market. And I came to know a very interesting fact about your business model that 15% of your time is dedicated to education in your business model. That's very interesting. That's right. Um, I, I, I've been in corporate America. Most of my time is spent in um, education and training. And uh, that has given me the opportunity to be part of uh, the local school board and you know, with uh, just in getting involved in school related and education related uh, activities. So I spend quite a bit of my time and, and I, a part of it is just giving back and that's what I, that's what I, that, uh, that's what I believe in. So it's been, um, it's been, it's been, um, uh, I, I mentor and, um, you know, teach high school students in terms of marketing, positioning, so on and so forth.
we have here Mr. Raj and Aradhana ji, the power couple and the co-founders of uh, Indian American Council of North Texas Food, food, bank. food bank. Okay, yeah. I got it right. Right. <laughs> so if you could just repeat uh, it for our viewers and just talk to them about what this organization does. Well, um, Aradhana and I, we have been in Dallas, uh, Texas area for about 20 years. And recently, I should say recently, about four or five years ago, we got exposed to the hunger issue here in North Texas. So the more we dove into it, the more we found out that it is actually very rampant, uh, the whole hunger issue is. And when we found out that almost a million people in North Texas are actually food challenged, we said we got to do something about it. So first thing we did was we wrote our own check. But then we said our donation will only go so far. We said this is something that is a much bigger cause and that requires the entire community to rise and address this issue. So with that in mind, we worked closely with the North Texas Food Bank and we understood how they work. We were very happy to see that they were a very efficient organization. For one dollar, they can provide three meals. About 94% of every dollar that they raise goes directly to the operation, directly to the cause. Only 6% overhead. Hi, so I have with me Mr. Peter, the founder and the president of Frisco Education Foundation and also CEO of uh, Mindbender Foundation, right? Well, let me, let me clarify. I'm a um, past president of the Frisco Education Foundation and I'm the chair for Mindbender Academy, which is a STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, art and math academy for middle school students. Okay, so w what does this foundation do? We would like our viewers to know a little bit about it. So the Education Foundation has three primary purposes. One of them obviously is to give scholarships to some of our high school students. And some of our students that was recognized tonight were also recognized to win the Education Foundation. We also raise money to be able to give our teachers who have these great ideas in their classroom but are not able to be funded through the normal process we're able to fund those and we call those you know grants for great ideas and then we have what our what we call our partners in education program which Mindbender Academy falls into that where we are able to partner with the business community to help bring education um, opportunities into the classroom to kind of help enhance the classroom experience for our students We have Mr. Akash Patel with us here, who is recognized as the top 50 teachers worldwide. Yeah. Wow, Akash. How do you do that? Well, that's uh, great. I'm a Spanish teacher, and you know, my family's from India, and I learned Spanish just five years ago. So, um, uh, in my classroom, I connect my classrooms around the world using Skype and Google Hangout. So my kids get to travel to Argentina or they get to travel to uh, Spain and Costa Rica and they get to meet people virtually. And a lot of these kids will probably never have the opportunity to travel around the world. But through my classroom, they have the opportunities to travel anywhere around the globe live and for free. Wow, Akash. I mean, that's such an amazing concept. and. I would like to be your student and learn at least <laughs> Spanish sometimes. So how did this idea tickle? How did you get into this? Well, you know, I have a very uh, large network of friends on Twitter, uh, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. And I was like, I have all these friends from all around the globe, and I've traveled to 30 countries. I want my children to travel to 30 countries, but they don't have the money to travel to 30 countries. So I was like, what if I bring these people into my classroom? And we can do that using Skype and Google Hangout. We live in the United States. We are one of the countries with some of the best internet access. So I was like, internet's available for free in my classroom. Why don't we use the internet to bring these people into the classroom live and for free? I started with two people, and then we grew a database of 1,000 people at my nonprofit, and it helps thousands of students around the states of Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas to travel around the globe. Hi, we have Susie here, who is the founder of Operation Care Foundation. Yes. 
So what does your foundation do, Susie? Uh, we help the homeless and the impoverished children in Dallas-Fort Worth and also in other parts of the world. So how do you reach out to so many people in so many parts of the world? Well, it really started, um, uh, I was called the blanket lady of the homeless because I started giving away blankets after my husband passed away. So I decided to choose joy and I decided to serve the community and God. And God led me under the bridge in downtown Dallas and spoke to my heart to help the homeless. So it started with a blanket ministry. Now we hold the largest Christmas party for the homeless in America with 15,000 people that attend our event at the Dallas Convention Center. And so this year, it will be in December 15, 2018. This is Milan and I am reporting here with another reporter and a TV person, Ms. Rebecca, who was also the MC for tonight's event, Immigration Journey, Immigrants Journey event, and it was a great success, right Rebecca? I thought it was wonderful. I think that these immigrant awards are important because you know as a journalist, people always are constantly attacking immigrants, which I'm the daughter of immigrants. They're attacking journalists. They call us fake news, right? Mm -hmm. And so what this did is showed people that, you know what, we have a job to do. We're here to make a difference. We're not here to take away anybody's jobs, that we all have a story, that we all have a struggle, right? And I think what's important is that we shine a light when immigrants are not getting a lot of love. I know as a Mexican, daughter of Mexican parents, that they don't feel the love. Mm -hmm. And I think through television, through the media, and through events like this, we make a difference. All right, we have Miss Anne Massey here, who is the Lady with a Vision, the founder of Immigrant Journey Awards. How are you doing, ma'am? Oh, great. Thank you. I'm so happy you can be here with us. I'm so happy. And can you tell us like, what led to this vision, what led to this thing called Immigrant Journey Awards? Uh, sure. Well, I have been an immigration attorney for over 20 years, and I have been working with absolutely wonderful uh, immigrants from all over the world and I always get the you know the question asked you know well when I'm an immigration attorney oh you must be really busy you know it's sort of a negative vibe for that and I always thought you know there's so much good that's happening with immigrants and I just wanted to have an opportunity to get some good news going on about immigrants so it's just a way to sh uh, spread some you know good publicity for immigrants and I thought this was a good way to do that Chari and uh, we are going to talk a little bit about something that is very much in news these days uh, that's the EB5 program and uh, would you like to enlighten our viewers a little bit about it? Hi, uh, my name is Santi Chari. I own a healthcare company called the US Physician. Recently as you know an immigrant takes uh, maybe 8-10 years to get the green card so I'm actually involved uh, in a regional center, EB5 regional center. This regional center was it's called Great Texas EB5. This was started by President Bush, his family. And um, we have actually right now two projects going on in uh, Dallas. One is developed by Hunt family. And the other one is, uh, uh, the other one is uh, Richard uh, Brownson, you know, from the uh, uh, Virgin Airlines. We already have five floors constructed. We have actually filed over 250 families, got the green card, and um, we have over 50 investors into the, uh, the Virgin Airlines project. 
if somebody is uh, looking, we'll be doing the batch processing. What that means is that uh, whosoever uh, gave these uh, 50 uh, investors, now we may have probably another five slots. The people will be getting into the five uh, slots right now and or they will get into the other 50 people. So 55 will be processed. So they will probably jump maybe one year of uh, time, you know, on the uh, on the project there. Now, the total cost of the project is like 550,000.